Sitting on the couch here, and I was thinking, um, there's going to be some of you guys that are just going to, are just thinking, man, Mike, you know what? There's just no, I, I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm willing to do, but I'm just not willing to paint my own car. Um, and that's cool. I mean, I would encourage anybody to give it a shot. You know, the worst thing you could do is sand it down and paint it again, but, um, or you could take it somewhere else and let them sand it down and paint it again. If you followed my instructions pretty well, you 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 probably get pretty close to where somebody could just go back and sand it down, do a little bit of work to it, and paint it again. You would have a good base. So but anyway, <clears throat> I want to talk to you guys real quick about how to get a decent body shop to do your car. So. First of all, you got to figure out what level of perfection you're trying to get. If you're trying to get a really perfect job, then you're just going to have to spend some serious money. There's no way around that. Um, if you're going to, if you're looking just to get something that's going to work out for you, um, there you, there's other means to do it, and you have to be willing to say, okay, so I'm willing to do my own body work. Or I'm willing to do the stripping of the car at, you know, I would encourage you at least to do all the disassembly, take everything out, your windows and do all the disassembly and assembly yourself at minimum. If you're doing your own restoration type of thing, um, because that stuff can be pretty expensive to have done. But let's just say you've got your entire car stripped down. And maybe you've even, you know, you've got all the dents exposed. You've got all the trim off of it. All your trim pieces, all your moldings, all your rubber, everything off the car. And you take it to a body shop. And, uh, in California, uh, an average price would be, I mean, for a, D, for a really pretty nice paint job with body work and everything, you probably be looking at least minimum between four and six thousand dollars. That's kind of like the base. Okay, it can go up from there. It could be ten thousand or more, and that depends on you know things like the condition of your body, um, and uh, you know how much metal work needs to be done and stuff like that. Um, and I hear this all the time at the shows. Like I talk to you guys all the time. They're like, "I mean, hey, where's your car? Oh, um, it's in paint." Well, how long has it been there? Oh, it's been there forever. They're taking forever. And I go, well, what you, how much you have it done for? Oh, $3,500. And I'm like, dude, you know, like for $3,500, is he doing everything? The body work? Oh, yeah, yeah, the body work, everything. I'm going, you know, it, it, no wonder it's been there a year. I, I'd be surprised you're ever going to get it back because the guy's only going to make, you know, by the time he gets paying, he's not even going to make any money. His, you know, his shop overhead and his employees and or, or whatever. He's just kind of doing your car, you know, piece a little bit at a time as he has, you know, a few minutes. He just works on a little panel and does something. He can't afford to shut down everything else he's doing that's making him money and 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 work on your car. Because he's only going to, he, he's not even meeting his expenses. He's kind of doing it basically um, for no profit. And he's just losing less by do, taking their car. So it's, you know, that's why I've heard that story. I don't know how many times, you know, at a show, especially if it's a bus, then you're just double the price. <laughs> you just figure it's going to be way more money. It's twice as much work. So it's going to be twice as much money, and that's just what you need to go through. That's why I'm encouraging a lot of you guys to learn some of the stuff to do yourselves, because when you get down to it, um, if you take it to the body shop, it's going to be expensive. So how can you do this on a budget is what really I wanted to get down to. Um, what, and how to select a body shop that you, you could afford to have do it. Um, typically, a place that does 
large volume shot that does lots of spot work is not the place to take your car to. They're not set up for doing restorations. So like if you went to say one of those big body shops, I'm trying to think, um, collision place, um, and they've got tons of spot repair going on. Um, there, there wouldn't be the place to take it to, and I'll tell you why. Because they have to use, they're used to doing everything with water-based paint. Um, they're used to doing everything in high volume, um, and cars coming in and out. They're doing color matches, and they're just, they're just going through, you know, them very, very quickly. They really wouldn't have time to do your car. Okay, it's just not the place to go. I mean, if you've got a lot of money, they'll do it. And they'll do a beautiful job, some of those places will. Uh, and no doubt, some of those guys. But, you know, to prep one of these things out for water base is going to be a lot more work than using doing um, solvent-based paint. Where, and both of them are legal. So you don't have, you, people say, oh, you can't get solvent-based in California. Yes, you can. You can get solvent-based. It's legal to use solvent-based in California. It just, it just isn't easy for a color matching shop that does spot work to use solvent base it's just it's easier for them to use water base it just is because it matches all the time so how you can do one of the ways you can save money um, if you're willing to do your own body work and you're willing to do some of the prep and then you can take it to a place like mako or something like that and then get they're going to give you they're going to have like a a, a variety of different prices okay they have the little chart of all the jo different jobs and stuff that they'll do you know like the base and then it's this one and this one say look you have to talk to the guy past the pictures on the wall and those things you have to say look i want this car to be this way and i've seen stuff that came from mako that looked really really nice i mean i saw stuff that came from there that was perfect but you've got it. You'll end up paying in those numbers that I'm talking about. Um, in Southern California, there's a lot of other production shops that are like that shop um, that do complete paint jobs and do a lot of them where they're set up. They have the, the sandpaper set up for doing the type of prep for this for this kind of car. They have the, uh, the primers that you need in there, using them all the time. They know all the failure issues. They they are doing what they, that's what I'm trying to say is if you go to a big production shop that does you know collision repair, it's it you know they're just really not set up the types of things for the failures and issues we gonna have with restoration because um, it's completely different. It's done completely different. Um, so if, if you can find a place though that that has. A moderate price but remember if you're gonna pay 3,500 bucks either you're gonna get one of two things or you know or 2,500 or even less or I've heard all different types of numbers you're gonna get either a paint job that doesn't look the greatest okay it's not gonna be a lot of material on the car or it's gonna be there forever it's gonna be there like years two three years a year you know at least so just know that ahead of time that you you know that you're going to have that problem because that's the choice you made you went with a cheap paint job body shop the cheap price and you know there's two things that your money buys it's labor and materials so what two things are they going to cut on labor price they're going to do it for they're going to work for less they're going to put all those man hours in and work for ten dollars an hour or are they going to cut some of those man hours out and do a crappier job? Or are they going to use cheap materials? That's what you're going to get. So there's, you know, that's... So anyway, if you're willing to do those things, what I'm going to tell you is here's how you can get around that. If you're willing to do stripping your paint, if you're willing to do your body work yourself and make sure it's on bare metal, and then do the primering and do the blocking and then take the car to them and say, look, this is as far as I can take it. Can you guys straighten this stuff out and make it look a little bit better? And you might find that it's, you know, then you might get a $3,500 price. 
And then it's workable because the guy can figure, well, I'm going to guide coat this thing one more time and I'm going to go through and, and, and do this. And I'm going to give you this, but I'm not going to give you this and I'm not going to give you that. You're going to get this and just be willing to accept what it, what it is when it's done. Um, I'm going to tell you some stories that uh, real quick that I had happen. I went to a show and a guy goes, hey, man. And I go, wow, that's a pretty nice paint job on your bus there. I mean, it looks pretty smooth and everything. And he goes, yeah, man, it's Mako. And I'm like, oh, really? And I said to him, I said, wow, you know, it looks pretty nice. And he says, yeah, but you got to get after him. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, this is the third time I made, I made them do this thing three times before I told him it was all right. I said, oh, great. You're the guy that, you're the asshole that back when I was working in the body shop that I just totally couldn't stand. And I just walked away from the guy. I was just like shaking my head and just walking away. I didn't say that to him, but I just, you know, you don't want to be that guy. That's not cool. You're, you're taking money out of somebody's pocket. That's not the way you should do stuff. You know, if you're, if you business isn't like I win, you lose. No, it should be Here's the deal. You take your end and I take my end. Okay. You don't go and get, you know, a, a, a $10,000 paint job for five grand. That's your, somebody's getting screwed. So that's not cool. All right. So don't do that. That's not cool at all. You don't want to be on the other end of that someday because it'll come back and get you. You will pay for that paint job some other way in your life. So. The thing that you can do is go to one of those, go, go and do the prep yourself, take it down there and have them do it. The other thing you can do is you can look for a shop that does a middle of the road paint job and, and say, look, I'm not looking for like super, super cherry. I'm looking, not looking for really, really junk crap, but I'm looking for something, you know, decent and and look for the types of cars that you know you know like average below joe blow cars in the parking lot don't look at if it's all full of like wrecks and mercedes benz or you know like collision repair tons of that going on that's probably not the place to, to that's going to give you what you need so these are a couple things to look out for when you're trying to do your own take your car to a body shop and have it done um i'm a believer in just you know what, give it, give it your best. You know, if you're going to willing to try it and do it yourself and you're willing to go out and, and spend the, you know, do the prep and follow some of the stuff that I'm showing you guys. And, 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 and you know what, if it doesn't look that great, when you get done, the worst thing that can happen is you could sand it down and take it to one of those shops and have them respray it. I mean, you know, the, maybe there'd be a couple waves in it or whatever, but Hey, then you can always say, hey, I did it. You know, that's a cool thing about doing it yourself and learning how to do the body work. I mean, that's where I started out. I was in the you know, garage in my house, my parents' house, and, and I sprayed all my friends' cars. I mean, I sprayed everything, anything I could get. I started doing that, and then, you know, after a while, I got pretty good at it. And then I became, worked in a body shop for a while, and hated it i just didn't want to do that for a living and then i became in the sign industry doing painting so it's just it's just different you know so it, it, it is a it's a way you can learn and you can't do anything you can't do something and when we had a when i worked in the custom shop years ago when i was in my 20s um and i said and i went in there and, and we were painting this car we were painting this this mini trucks is one of these mini trucks and we're going, you know, man, this is, I don't know. I was kind of, you know, me and the guy with the, we were kind of, both of us were kind of learning together. And I was actually had a little more experience in some ways than he did. And he had other experiences that I didn't have. And um, so I said to him, and I said, we said to each other, Hey, look, what's the worst thing that can happen? And we kind of looked at each other and go, we could repaint it. And we're like, yeah, we could just repaint it. It's no big deal. And then, after that day, everything was a lot easier because we figured, well, what's the worst thing down? Just sand it down and repaint it. No big deal. <laughs> then we got really, you know, after a while, we got better. So, 
keep that in mind. If you are looking for a place, look for a place that has not really, really bitching cars in the parking lot, not really, really crap junk and you look at the stuff that's painted or whatever and if it's just full of runs and stuff then maybe that's not the place to go but you know and feel out around I mean, there's a lot of places i'm trying to think of other collision places that i've seen that are independent ones that are actually do better work than like mako or i'm just using mako as an example you're you know but like i said you you're gonna get what you pay for you're gonna get you know, that's the how how they do that is by having cheap labor and you know and uh, just putting the man hours in and cheap labor doesn't do perfect work so anyway that's a little heads up on if you're not willing to get your have your car done you know willing to do your own car and you have to take it to someone those are a couple heads up ways to do to look at it and figure it out